Hi folks, welcome to chapter 5. This is called the Tormach Tooling System Tease. Okay, joking aside, this is my um, initial draft at a Tormach tooling table. I've got all the tools cleaned up, got the grease taken off of them. I just used some WD-40 and a lot of paper towels. The only really tricky ones I have to say were the smaller Jacob's Chucks. Um, they They required a lot of work trying to get the last of the grease out of the inside there and there may be even some more left to do but um those are the only really tricky ones and so for those of you who don't know about the Tormach tooling system the beauty of this and I'm so excited to have this is that you can retain your Z height um, every time you change tools the uh, let me show you this special R8 call it made by Tormach which ships with the kit has a ground flat finish and what you happens is this remains in your draw bar and then when you take a TTS tool it mates in a precision manner with the bottom of that surface thus retaining your Z accuracy every time so what this will mean and I've got some learning to do here is that in my cam system I will have all of my tools set up in a tool table and I'll know that if I am making a part I may want to stick within the tools that I've got that way when it calls tool number four I know that's a 1 8 inch uh, spot or drill or if I want to call tool number five uh, actually it's or tool number six it's a two flute high speed steel end mill for aluminum something like that uh, so let's take a look at all the tools real quick Tool number one, edge finder. Uh, that'll be very useful and I used to loathe edge finding on my tag because it meant I had to take um, take out my tool and lose my Z, put it in and go back. Tool number two is a multi-purpose tool. It's, I use it as a spot drill. Um, you can do some edge milling with it and you can do some deburring or chamfering with it. Tool number three is just a import um, 3 8 inch two flute high speed steel end mill. I'm going to try to stop using some of these really cheap import tooling now that I've got a nicer mill. Tool number three, four, excuse me, is a um, 1 8 inch twist drill. Tool number five is a number seven drill for uh, tap or for uh, tapping quarter 20 holes. Tool number six, um, I've got to take a look at this one. I believe this is my uh, two flute high speed steel end mill which is um, designed for aluminum. Tool number seven is an Atrax uh, carbide four flute end mill which I use for uh, my steel work. Tool number eight is my uh, keyless chuck. I have a 3 16 end mill in here which I will obviously not use. You should never run an end mill in a chuck but it's just sitting there for now. I don't actually have a 3 16 tool holder or collet right now. Um, tool number 9 is a number 3 drill which I use for tapping quarter 28. Tool number 10 I've got um, is empty right now. Tool number 11 this is a uh, longer shanked two flute, oops, I'm getting the zoom here, focus. Two flute end mill also, <clears throat> excuse me, for aluminum. Tool number 12 and 13 are both larger diameter twist drills. This is a 3 8 twist drill from Precision Drill, I believe. It's a higher quality US made one and here's a 
half inch drill. I'm a big fan of using drills to remove um, material before milling. That way you can avoid having to plunge mill. Um, that was a problem I might take due to rigidity and we'll see how it works on the um, on the Torok. Tool number 14 is a four flute um, uh, high speed steel end mill. I acquired this when I bought an old Atlas mill so I've not actually used it very much. We'll see how it works. I've got to think that you could uh, get some chatter out of it but we'll see. <clears throat> Tool number 15. This is a half inch um, end mill uh, holder and I've got a I think 11 sixteenths um, end mill in there. Not sure how much I'll use that. We'll see. Tool number 16 is a Woodruff key cutter. Tool number 17 is my 35 millimeter or 38 millimeter face mill from Tormach. And I actually can't figure out how the um, carbide inserts fit correctly in there, so I've got an email into Tormach. Uh, I'm either doing something wrong or I have a small suspicion that they may be the wrong inserts, that the, the geometry doesn't look correct. And last is tool number 18, which is my compression head uh, tapping chuck, which if you see when you pull this, or excuse me, when you pull this down, it pops right out, you push it right back in, and the same thing, the tap comes out by just squeeze, pushing that piece down, and it slides back in. I've got a quarter twenty spiral tap flute in there right now. So, like I said, this is all just a draft um, of what I think I might use. I have put some thought into this because I've got a couple jobs that I want to um, get working on as soon as I get the Tormach up and running. And I also just know from a lot of milling experience that you're going to use. Uh, certain tool, these end mills, but at the same time, I'm sure my tool ta table here will change over time. So